This morning in Health Watch, heartburn. An estimated 60 million Americans, including yours truly, suffers from it at least once a month. Stress, bad eating habits, obesity, they all may be contributing to the rise in heartburn and acid reflux disease. Joining us now from Washington is Dr. Robin Chutkin, gastroenterologist at Georgetown University Medical Center. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Nice to be here. We all know what it feels like, but what is heartburn? The esophagus is a long tube that connects the mouth to the stomach, and at the bottom is a valve that shuts tight to keep food and acid down in the stomach. When that valve opens up, acid can splash back into the esophagus, and that's heartburn, acid reflux. And some of the symptoms aren't what you think. I know I was losing my voice, and I went to the doctor, and I thought, oh, I have a sore throat, and he said, no, you have reflux. Um, and that's could lead to something quite serious. That's absolutely right. Less than half of patients with acid reflux have typical symptoms. That's of acid rising up in the chest. The rest of patients have atypical symptoms, which can include a cough, frequent clearing of the throat, the sensation of a lump in the throat, mm -hmm. or food getting stuck when you swallow, burping. These are all symptoms of acid reflux. And this can lead to esophageal cancer. Something called Barrett's esophagus That's is the right. first step. That's not good, but then it can go all the way to esophageal cancer. And this is the quickest rising cancer? That's right. Cancer of the esophagus is the fastest growing cancer in the United States. If you have Barrett's esophagus, you're about 50 times more likely to develop cancer of the esophagus. And what Barrett's is, is a change in the lining of the esophagus because of the constant exposure to acid. The esophagus is normal. And as the cells get damaged, they take on a beefy red appearance. And this isn't something that you just pop a couple times. Take this quite seriously. Go to your doctor, get it checked out, and you say if you need to go on medications. There are some great ones out there? Absolutely. There are medications that we've used for over 20 years to block the acid, as well as to help the stomach contract, to move the acid through the digestive tract. These are safe, well-tolerated, and very effective medications. Okay. Also, don't eat late at night. Don't Absolutely. get too stressed. Dr. Robin Chutkin, thank you very much. It is an important topic.